Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, concerns that some teachers may have called students during the mock exams for the primary exit profile PEP in June. News has surfaced that some teachers may be telling students what to write during the exams. The Chief Education Officer addressed the issue on Tuesday at a sensitization and consultation session for Grade 6 teachers in Montego Bay St. James. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm reports. The primary exit profile exams that has a number of parents, teachers and other stakeholders very frustrated, taking the PEP out of their step. There has been confusion about which textbooks to use and the actual content of the exams. And now, there's another issue. At a sensitization session on Tuesday, a primary school teacher wanted to know what will be done to prevent teacher coaching during the exams. In teachers telling the students what to write in response to the questions. I'm talking about what is in place to prevent the teachers from writing answers that they think are suitable and children copy them from the board, for example. Chief Education Officer Dr. Grace McLean responded with a very shocking discovery. There is a rubric, rubric for the marking, so we know how it is to be marked. And so we can easily pick up whether or not the students are using their own responses. For example, in the mock assessment, there were a few that we picked up which would have, see, which had, which would have been seen or presumed to be teachers' responses. What we have decided to do is to meet with those administrators in private so they can look at what the teachers would have done and the principals along with their boards will have to take the necessary action accordingly. Now TVJ News wrote to the Education Ministry asking what type of sanctions will be taken against teachers who actually cheat by telling the children what to write during PEP exams and what steps will be taken to prevent teacher coaching. Despite the verbal response earlier from Dr. McLean, the ministry said there was no mention of cheating, adding that the observations from the papers are not considered to be irregularities, and teachers would have tried their best to do the assessment based on the guidelines given. The ministry adds that the observation picked up from the papers will guide teachers on how to administer the PEP performance task. It went on to say that less than 1% of the papers reviewed indicated that responses could have been coached, and there's need for further discussions before drawing conclusions. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.